the September 2019 Long Beach Expo World and Ancient Coins Signature Auction by Heritage largely delivered on its promise by realizing over $5.8 million in rare coins. In terms of the world coins on offer, let's open proceedings with a notable variety within the Canadian catalogue. The 1953 penny of the no shoulder fold variety is seen here. The place of interest for this coin is the Queen's shoulder, featuring a new design by Mary Gillick that was implemented following the Queen's coronation ceremony. It seems that the portrait was not executed to the sufficient relief as to ensure that all of the details would fully strike up. Particularly affected by this was the shoulder, where a fold, some may refer to it as a shoulder strap, on the Queen's dress would not appear. This detail would then be strengthened in later coins. PCGS graded this pristine example as SP67 Deep Cameo, and it sold for a thousand eight hundred and sixty dollars. So who doesn't love old-fashioned pirate treasure? Well, alright, not pirate treasure technically, but shipwreck treasure nonetheless. Although pirates do sort of enter the story in a bit. And of course, if you're going for shipwreck treasure, then you might as well go for one of the most infamous, the 1715 plate or treasure fleet as it is more commonly known. In July of 1715, a fleet of 12 Spanish ships departed Cuba en route to Spain. They were completely laden with gold, silver, precious jewels, as well as tobacco and various valuable spices. It became customary for these uh, ships to travel in fleets, as it was considered to be safer than a single ship having to traverse pirate-infested waters. However, after only seven days at sea, the fleet was caught in a devastating hurricane, and 11 of the 12 ships were sunk just off of the Florida coast. This gold cop coin was recovered from the scattered remains of that wreck. Graded by NGC as MS64, it sold at auction for $3,120. The gold mohur coins of the British East India Company are an interesting peculiarity within the Indian numismatic catalogue, as they were, by the very law that enacted them to be minted, not uh, deemed as legal tender. Instead, they could be exchanged at the bank for a fixed exchange of 15 silver rupees, which were accepted as legal tender. Carrying forfeit tradition started under the similar coins of William the Fourth. The date of these coins were frozen as 1841. However, we do know that by the Type 2 obverse design with the divided legend, that the coin was struck in or after 1851 at the Calcutta Mint, as prior to that the continuous legend design was used. Graded by PCGS as MS62, this piece of British India history was sold for $5,040. A fairly unique and rare medal was also on display, entitled Protestants Supported in Belgium. The piece is dated 1587 and is in recognition of Queen Elizabeth's support for the Dutch Revolt, in open defiance of Spain and its king Philip II. Spain would take its revenge on England five years later by supporting the Irish rebels in the Nine Years' War. It depicts the enthroned Elizabeth trampling a hydra under her feet with Robert Dudley, the first Earl of Leicester, holding her robe with allegorical representations of the United Provinces of the Dutch Republic surrounding them. The reverse in turn shows the Pope, Cardinals, Bishops and Catholic priests surrounded by implements of the sacrament, all of which are falling from grace. This large silver medal stands as an interesting relic of the Protestant Reformation and the political maneuverings that surrounded it during that age. This peculiar piece was sold for $5,000 $280 at auction. A Scottish coin now from the reign of Mary I, better known as Mary Stuart or simply 
Mary, Queen of Scots, struck in 1553 when Mary was still only 11 years old and resident in France while Scotland was under the rule of a regent instead. Mary's story is a very well documented one and very widely known as well, especially compared to other contemporary monarchs. Perhaps what's best remember was her rather sad demise, being under what was essentially amount to house arrest for nearly 18 years. She was accused of, tried and convicted of plotting to assassinate Queen Elizabeth, who saw her as a potential rival to the English throne. She was then beheaded in 1587. The coin was authenticated by NGC with a grade of XF 45 that saw it reach a closing price of $7,800 at auction. To anyone interested in French numismatics, especially the Napoleonic coins, this might be of great interest. You'll notice that even though the design is similar, in fact identical in appearance to those of earlier issues, this coin was struck in 1815 at the Paris Mint, making it a part of the infamous 100 Days War, following Napoleon's return to Paris from his initial exile to Elba, and concluding with the crushing defeat he suffered at the Battle of Waterloo. The coin itself is also in pristine condition, graded by NGC as MS-65. This coin raised $9,600 at auction. Yet another Spanish gold cob coin from the famed 1715 treasure fleet is now presented here, this time however from the reign of Philip V being minted only the year prior to its being sunk in 1714. This coin is curiously doubled in places, with the denomination of 8 escudo being most notably affected. The number of 8 is of course styled with Roman numerals, so VIII, but with the doubling an additional I appears behind, making it technically 9 instead of 8, sort of? This reminds me, I mentioned pirates earlier, the reason for that is after the fleet was scuttled, a number of ships showed up to, let's say, aid in the salvage operation, a number of which were in fact reported as pirate ships. The current coin, however, was graded by NGC and received a grade of MS-62. At auction, it managed to raise $19,200. Then we have one of the more famous coins from the Chinese Republic, despite it being relatively scarce as a whole today, best known as the auto dollars due to the automobile that is featured on the reverse design which I believe is a Model A Ford, but I could be mistaken there, so don't quote me on that. The coin stems from the Guizhou, or what is more commonly westernized as Kuechao province, and the car itself is said to have belonged to the region's governor, although calling Xiao Shichen a governor is perhaps a bit generous. I mean, the man was a warlord to be frank. Graded here by PCGS as XF40, the coin itself sold for $22,200 at auction. Then we have an exceptional rarity in the Cuban series, a 20 peso gold coin struck in the Philadelphia Mint around 1915. This is actually a part of a series of coins prepared, all conforming in both size and weight to the corresponding US coins of that period. Thusly, the 20 pesos piece was equivalent to the double eagle, with the entire set designed and dies engraved by Charles Bob. Barber. The coins are also of interest to specialist US collectors. Exact mintages, however, are not exactly certain, although reasonable estimates place it between 20 and maybe as many as 50 coins. Graded here by NGC as proof 62 cameo, the coin sold at auction for $37,200. Let me know what you thought of these coins in the comments section below. Subscribe to WNN and Act Activate notifications with the bell icon so you'll know when new videos are released. For the world numismatic news, I am Numisman saying thank you for watching, keep collecting and have a great day.